What's up guys, we're back for another episode of Demon Slayer where in the last episode, the two demons who were a problem were defeated and killed. One of them was by Tanjiro using his sick ass moves, you know, deflecting and change the arrow's direction so he could hit the own demon with his own ability, you know, the flying arrow shit. And then the other demon, who, the girl with six arms who wasn't really fighting much, she was just playing kickball with Nezuko. But it seems like she was just playing because she said she was going to get serious at the end. And Tamayo was like, nope, we ain't have none of that shit, man. Shh, released a little bit of blood. She was provoking the demon so that the demon would say kibutsuji because saying that will activate her curse which ended up killing the demon in a very interesting way i'd say i mean it seemed like the insides of her were just like moving she was turning kind of red and out of nowhere like three arms came out the stomach like boom and then through the mouth bam then the hand that was up here turned around and was like squished her head and we saw my boy tanjiro just sitting there watching feeling kind of bad till the sun came up and just disintegrated a demon so yeah, it was an intense battle, but it turned out those two demons weren't even part of the 12 demon moons. So yeah, there are going to be demons that are way stronger than those two. And it seems like Nezuko and Tanjiro will be fighting all of them side by side because when Tamayo offered to take care of Nezuko, they didn't want to. They wanted to stick together. They're a family and they don't ever want to be separated. So good for them. But there is no time to rest because Tanjiro already has another mission. Probably like he received his mission like one day after defeating those other two villains. So he can't even take a break. All right, well, that's what we're about to see. So without further ado, let's get right into the episode. You gotta be kidding me. They ended off at the best part. Tanjiro was screaming so much at the end that it kind of left me wondering if he was doing that so that Zenitsu could hear him and, you know, go and help. But... <laughs> We did see that Zenitsu is pretty powerful. I mean, he defeated that villain in like one slice, just like that. But he doesn't know how the hell he did it. It seemed like he did it while he was asleep or something. So I don't know how that works. But he should learn from Tanjiro. I mean, I got to respect Tanjiro every time he's on a mission. He's always calm. He's always trying his hardest. He keeps his cool. He makes sure that whoever he's rescuing feels safe. I mean, he's just, he does everything right. This is why I really love Tanjiro. He's one of my favorite protagonists in any anime. And even right now, when he's trying to fight a demon who seems like he was a part of the 12 demon moons, but because he couldn't get more powerful, he was kicked out. And this demon was just so desperate to get stronger and to gain Muzan's approval because for some reason, I mean, every demon loves Muzan. I mean, they look up to him. They think he's the strongest being. They want his approval. They want Muzan to appreciate them. I mean, I don't know why they love him so much. But this kid that he found has rare blood, which eating one human with his blood is like eating 50 of another human. So that that's a lot of power, man. I can see why he's so desperate to, to eat him. And also just, what is this blood demon art? I mean... It's like any demon that uses it has like something different and unique with what they could do with it. I mean, last time it was the guy with hands with uh, eyes on it that have arrows and he's controlling flying arrows. Now this dude's got like bonjos that like control the house. Oh my God, dude. This, it's just crazy, man. It could do anything by the looks of it. But I'm excited for next fight because Tanjiro, even though he has broken arms, he does not want to give up. He's enduring the pain, and it seems like he found a way to fight through it, though. He's finally going to use some water techniques to try to help him out, which I don't know why he didn't think of that before. I mean, he always uses those techniques. So it seems like next episode, Tanjiro might pop off, so I can't wait for that. I'll see you guys there, and I hope you guys stick around.